all right welcome back so i did a lot of testing on that bike on the energica ss9 specifically for highway riding so yeah i do know first of all quick disclaimer because i got some uh, comments already on my live videos i do know how to ride these bikes for longer without overheating or heating up the battery without getting the the yellow battery icon i do know that it's possible because i've done it there is i'll link a video where i show you that i've been riding it for i did a one day ride of 710 kilometers it was and it only showed me the orange well the yellow battery once i believe that day and that was only because i had to go down to 10 percent because all the charges that i uh, encountered were either broken or uh, occupied so if you want to know how to ride these bikes all day long and charging at uh, full 24 kilowatts all day long or 75 amps well um the trick is to stay within the uh, 30 to 80 percent battery state of charge and then charge up at 24 kilowatt that will work for at the maximum i think is possible is around 20 minutes full uh, 24 kilowatt charging and then it will slow down it will slow down at 80 percent always because it will be balancing i'll have a graph here how it drops after 80 percent but uh so you can as long as you don't over you don't exceed the 20 minute charge you can charge it full speed and then ride at least an hour with variable speed that variable speed is very important because otherwise you'll end up by stressing uh, the well i'll get to that later on i'm also still working on i'm replacing the tires so uh the rear wheel has to come out now the front tire has been has been replaced uh, this thing if i'm working on it like no i just want to replace the tires i always encounter something else that so i at the in in the back for instance i was now drilling out the bolt that broke always lots of work on those things but back to the energica so uh, i've been uh, testing how you can ride it at constant fast speeds and charging still fast so i did a test ride where i first tried maybe if it's i was thinking maybe it's possible if you just do short uh, quick charges like uh, sub 10 minutes and then uh, i have the I ha i'll show you a few graphs here of the day that i did so i started here went right away on the highway um rode 120 an hour 130 on the display if i'm talking about speeds i'll be talking about real speed so you have to add 10 percent when watching the dashboard but uh, riding at 120 and then stopping i think i did like 50 kilometers like a half an hour of riding between the charges and i charged up for uh, around nine minutes each time but it uh yeah the the third well even on the second charge it was already throttling so yeah it starts throttling right away if, if you do short bursts uh, short uh, quick charges so that didn't work then uh, the rest of the day I continued riding and trying other stuff, riding 90 km an hour, so slowing down. Did also not help, but still 90 at constant speed, of course. Next, oh, what did I, what else did I try? Yeah, I, I did my best to make the distance between the charges as long as possible so that it would uh, get um, enough time to cool down between the charges. At the end of the day, I was riding like 100 kilometers at 100 kilometers an hour, so an hour riding between the chargers. But at that point, the battery was already too far heated up, so it was just still always going to 12, 13, maybe 14 kilowatts. So even below 50 amps, it was below 50 amps charging. Even the last charge I did that day, because I finally I, I, I gave up. At when it started charging at seven kilowatts, so uh, really slow. So yeah, it just uh, got worse. I did um, I did ride one hour and a half, 90 minutes, on B roads away from the highway, hoping to let it cool down. But it looks like it did the opposite. The battery icon is still orange when I started charging, and it's only charging at seven kilowatts instead of 14 and it will take uh, 35 no 53 minutes 
six kilowatts. Uh, that's when I went home. 50 minutes from my from my garage here, it finally showed the green icon again. Yeah, I don't have a battery temperature readout at the time, but I yeah, I'll, I'll look for the the uh, right register on the CAN bus to see if I can get it there uh, using the ODB2 port. It's not in the Bluetooth information, but yeah, I'll find a way to register it. If I don't find a way, what I always can do as a backup solution, I can try with this thing. Anyway, just to answer the question, can you then just try it? and rely on the system to reduce the output well you could but you'll probably end up like i did with uh, a 7 kilowatt uh, charge at the end of the day so but yeah that's not uh, that's no fun at all the next day i went out on the highway again tried uh, some other numbers so if it's um if you get these bikes the 21.5 kilowatt hour version then the output is automatic well the default charge configured on the bike is i believe it's 60 amp from the factory and if you want to go to 75 amp you need to increase um, it in the menu the first time you use it so that's what i did when i got mine now i was thinking yeah maybe i just have to limit it at 60 amps then maybe they limit it in the factory to 60 amp because of this battery heating issue so i did exactly that I started riding again highway constants um, one hour riding at 100 kilometers um, an hour speed between chargers I started charging at 60 amps I think it throttled from so from 60 amps at the end it was 50 amps of the charge so damn it I was going to say that it didn't throttle I, I managed to get here over uh, the highway got here at 30% left. Yeah, I did put it at 60 amps, so uh, 18 kilowatt charging. And I just noticed currently 56, and now it's throttling to 55 amps. But then I went riding again, and when I reached the other charger, <laughs> I just went green. The, the battery icon was still yellow, but in the time that I needed to take my picture to explain what was happening, in that time it went green. I ha I'll have to do more testing because I only did two charges at 300 km that day. Uh, but I'll, I'll have to do more testing to verify if it really holds on. But I, my, my guess now for the moment, if you limit the charging yourself to 50 amps, going from 30 to 80% SOC, then you can ride for an hour. And it will in that time just go green. So you'll be able to charge again from... 30 to 80 percent so i think that's the sweet spot for these bikes thanks for watching